This week we begin in the UK, where nearly 1,000 Ukrainian Marines have been trained by NATO allies. They spent six months focusing on amphibious skills and tactics. The course was the first such programme run by the UK Royal Marines and instructors from the Netherlands and Norway. This training is part of NATO's commitment to help Ukraine uphold its right to self-defence. Last week, over 1,000 troops from 11 NATO countries took part in Exercise Engineer Thunder at the Pabre Training Area in Lithuania. Organised and hosted by the Lithuanian Army Engineering Battalion, combat engineers trained against the use of nuclear, biological and chemical weapons, the safe removal of explosive and non-explosive obstacles alongside other engineering support activities. And finally, last week the sixth Invictus Games were celebrated in Dusseldorf, Germany. 500 athletes from 21 nations, all service members physically or mentally wounded, competed in 10 disciplines to show the world that giving up is not an option. For one day, the whole staff of Joint Force Command Brunson, including their families, went to the Games to show our support.